Nice. Dude, let's go. <laughs> What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Untamed Outdoorsman and today I am really excited because this is going to be a really small but really cool item that I think is going to play a huge role in the 2024 fishing season and this is the all new Yak Attack Short Stack. So this thing is really really cool. Um, as many of you know who watched last year's fishing videos, towards the end of the fishing season I got the Yeti Go Box 30. Um, for the Ascend 133 x for the bow area. It was a perfect fit. I really liked it. It was awesome. The problem is, is when we switch kayaks to the native Titan X 12.5, there's a lot less open usable space like that. Uh, not that that's a con to the Titan X, it's just two different styles of kayak. The Ascend 133 x had a very open style hull design and it allowed me to fit stuff like that, but we're not gonna be able to really do that on the Titan X, so we can't use the Go Box anymore. And the reason I felt like this was such an important thing to get was because this is going to potentially replace that. Um, it's going to give me a lot more usable space of the black pack and in a much better area too because it's not taking up extra room. So it's a win-win. But this short stack here is really, really cool. So it's essentially an extension of the black pack. So it turns the black pack into two separate sections. So you're going to have your main box right here. This is the 16 by 16 black pack. You're going to have your main area here with all your tackle. And then you're going to have a second story of the black pack that's an extra four inches to fit whatever you want in. So we could put tools in there. We could put like essential stuff like sunscreen or bug spray. But we can add things like soft plastics too, which completely eliminate the need to have soft plastics all over the deck of the kayak. So this is going to be a really nice feature to hopefully replace that gold box. I'm really excited for this. So in this video, we're going to be... Uh, unboxing this, obviously, we're going to be installing it onto the black pack. I'll show a time lapse of that and we'll stop every once in a while to touch base on it. And then we'll show how it looks on the Titan X. The Titan X has a cutout for the black pack on it, so it'll be really cool. But yeah, guys, this is super, super cool. I am really excited for this. I think this is going to be a really awesome feature because, like I said, it's a win win. You get more usable storage space without taking up any extra room. So I'm a big fan of that. All you're theoretically going to need is just a screwdriver. You can use a drill if you want. Just put it to a very light setting so you don't strip out this plastic or crack it. Just put it to a really light setting and you should be fine. But yeah, let's get to this unboxing right now before we get to the install. All right. So I got my inverted scissors here. Okay. So got some bubble wrap. We got your directions right here. We're probably going to need those, even though they seem pretty self-explanatory. You got your four walls, your kits here. You have kit A, which is a bunch of screws. Kit B, which looks like your feet to protect it. Kit C, which looks like some of your hinges and your strap to support it. And kit D looks like more hinges. You get a sticker, which is a crazy looking sticker, probably for St. Patty's Day. You get that nice lime green sticker. That's pretty interesting. And then you get your bottom piece. So this is not the roof of it. In the early renditions of the short stack, you're actually gonna reuse the Black Packs lid. So there's no need to get an extra lid. So you're gonna reuse the Yak Attack Black Packs original lid, and this will be your new base. All right, cool. So we're gonna get to this install right now. Okay, step one. Attach front side panel to bottom panel. Alright, self explanatory. Okay, step two attach second side panel. So you're gonna add another side panel. Oh, I got it. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna repeat that same step. Wow, this is super easy. They just pop right in. They just slide right in super easy. Not bad. So keep in mind, I'm setting the, the speed driver of this to a very low setting. I'm only setting it to three, maybe four, and I'm keeping the speed at one just 
don't over torque this. You're, you're gonna crack it. Yagatech uses pretty good quality materials, but even with that being said, a drill could easily break it. So just keep that in mind. Now that you've got it all done in a square, so you're just adding the panel and you're putting the two screws on, after you complete that and you get the complete square, you're going to add a screw to every single missing hole across the bottom. So there's four across each side, so we're gonna be installing 16 screws right here. So it's quite a bit of screws. Tell you what, doing this with hand tools, that would be a pain. So that part's done. That was 16 screws. So, next part. Install short stack bumper. Turn the box upside down and press the short stack bumper into the screw bosses in each corner of the bottom panel. Okay. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna take your small bolt, you're gonna take your washer, and you're going to attach it into the little pilot hole that's on the top of these bumpers. You're just gonna get it started, and then you're gonna take your, your light duty drill and drill it the rest of the way. So this part's pretty simple too. All you're gonna do is you're going to take both of your pieces. This is gonna be your back hinge. You take both of these pieces, you're gonna line them up to where you can see straight through that hole. And then you're going to take your very long bolt and the nut, and you're going to put that on. You wanna go very slow on this part because you could very well crack it. Perfect. So you want to get these two at similar tensions so you don't over torque one and under torque the other. It'd be a pain to hinge that back and forth. All right, good. On to part eight now. Looks like I jumped the gun a little bit. I installed the wrong hinges first. You want to install these hinges before you install the other ones. Oops. So all I did there guys was I just installed those three screws right there. This is gonna be your back hinge to hinge it back. Pretty simple, not really that, not really too, too complicated. I did jump the gun and I installed these a little too early, but whatever. And now we're gonna install the other one. Okay, perfect. I would say we're more than halfway done at least. Okay, so next up we have to remove the lid from the Black Pack Pro. For this I'm not gonna really show because it's down here, but it's just removing six screws, so it can't be that bad. And this is on the back side of the Black Pack Pro on the back hinges. All right, done. Hang on to those screws because I'm probably gonna need them. Now we're going to attach the lid to the short stack, just like that. All right, just gonna take those same screws and put them on the short stack. All right, hinge is on, or should say main lid is on. Awesome, this is pretty cool. Okay, so we're done with that part. Attach, latch to short stack. Okay, so that's part 12.
Perfect. Okay. So I'll give you a small rundown of this. So it's pretty similar to the original black pack install. It's not really that difficult. So you just got this hinge here, just closes up like that. Exactly like that. So pretty cool. We're gonna install the other one right now. Okay. So we're gonna need the black pack for this. All you're gonna do on this part is just drill in two more sets of three screws and then you're attached. That's it. All right, next part, attach black and short stack, drill holes in short stack bottom. So this part is slightly difficult. So I think you actually need to physically drill into the short stack. One, two, three. So you're gonna go th from the left side of the short stack, you're gonna count one, two, three. That's gonna be your location. And then seven up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna be it right here. So that's the hole we wanna drill. You're going to be very careful. You're going to go nice and slow. Perfect. It's not a hard hole, guys. They, they give you the pilot hole already, so it's not too, too bad. I took the large washers and I took the small screw. I put it in the hole on this strap. I went three across and seven I went seven up and three across. I found the middle point on all these dots here. Drilled a one-eighths hole into that. Took the strap with the hole in it, the screw, and the washer, and I drilled it right in there. So this is going to act as our support hinge. So on the black pack itself, you have all these holes already pre-cut out. So I'm going to put it on the third hole on the inside of the black pack. That's going to make a near-perfect 90-degree angle, which is what we want. Then I'm going to repeat this on the other side. A little awkward because the short stack wants to fall. So now should be a near perfect 90 degree angle. Just might have to loosen that a little bit. Ha! Look at that. Perfect 90 degree angle. That looks awesome. All right. We are almost done here. I'm just going to repeat this process on the other side. And then repeating it on the on the bottom. Look at that perfection. That's should be pretty much it. Let's see what else we got. Oh, yep, that's it. All right, well, guys, that's the install. Maybe it took me an hour, but that was me taking my time and explaining every step of it. I never once struggled this whole time, so if I can do it, anybody can do it. So, that's it. Looks pretty good. Doesn't add a whole lot of bulk to the black pack. It's completely manageable. There we go. We're going to add stuff to it now. Scale. Add a, gotta add a scale. Good pair of scissors. Phillips screwdriver, tiny one for the motor guide remote. Can't not have that. This is a bigger Phillips head and screwdriver combo to fix any miscellaneous things that may happen on the boat. Sunscreen, knife, very important to have a knife. And then lastly, some soft plastics. Can't not have these. Okay, so we might have to figure out the soft plastics because I can't carry this many soft plastics with me anymore. I just don't think it's gonna be feasible. So we're gonna have to figure out a solution to carrying all these soft plastics in a more convenient way, because this is not gonna work. So we're gonna have to figure that out at a later date. Another important thing too, batteries. And two more things that I have in mind so far, this could be subject to change. Super glue, definitely wanna bring some super glue. And then I personally like to bring a thing of electrical tape because you never know what could happen wiring wise on the, on the water and we need to make a fast repair. So that's what I'm bringing too. So I'm planning to make maybe half of this tools and half of this soft plastics. Like I said, I got to figure out a better solution instead of just the bags. Um, I don't plan on bringing as many soft plastics with me this, this year. I brought a lot, like I'm talking hundreds of bags of soft plastics at one time and 
I use maybe four packs every trip, so that might not be necessary, but we're gonna we're gonna figure this out at a later date. So for now, I just got myself a little Ziploc bag. I'm just gonna add this stuff to the Ziploc bag so it's not falling all over the place. Not set in stone by any means. All right, cool. This is awesome. I'm a big fan of this thing. Let's go put it on the Titan X and we'll see how it looks on there. All right, it's in there. Guys, this is absolutely awesome. I mean, it is. it does make it a little bit larger, but not anything that would get in the way. It just looks a little bit larger. You're never gonna have an issue with that. Um, it may look visually larger, but in terms of your casting and your space, it doesn't affect anything. Um, but this is going to be awesome, guys. So I got the top section here, planning on using this for soft plastics and tools. And then the bottom section is going to be all my hard baits and terminal tackle and things like that. But this should be like the main storage area of the Titan X now. And I am just so ecstatic. I am so happy to be finally getting back on the water very, very shortly. This is just the start of videos to come on this short stack. This thing will be on the water every single trip in the 2024 fishing season. So it'll be getting some very hard use. If you have any questions about it, um, if I miss something on the install, definitely leave a comment asking. I'll definitely answer whatever questions you may have. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.